What is going on everyone? I was in the Discord and someone was asking about this iron helm and how to get it. So I did some research and I was like, what the hell? This helmet is actually in the game. And it's pretty cool because the iron helm is of the same design as it was in the PS3 version. So you can see the difference between the fluted helm and the iron helm. However, it can be a bit of a pain to get, especially if you've already missed it. For those of you who don't know, the Iron Helm can only be obtained after killing the Vanguard boss in the tutorial. Now, because I'm a noob at the game, I died to this boss, and I'm effectively now buggered from ever obtaining this item on this playthrough. But fear not, because there is a way, and I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take in order to get this item on your current playthrough. Now unfortunately the catch is we're going to have to make a second character because this is the only way to get back to the vanguard boss fight. So I'm going to be running as the temple knight. I mean it doesn't really matter which one you choose anyway but temple knight is always a solid choice. And we want to make our way to the boss. Now strategy wise I would say stick close to him. I mean I was practically behind him the whole time trying to get him to jump. So with some patience, we should kill him in about two minutes. Now that we've killed him, we want to touch the Arcstone and that will take us to the unknown egress area. And the item should literally be on this corpse right here. So there we have it, the Iron Helm. To get out of this area, just make your way further on and go down the stairs and the Dragon God should kill you when you approach him. After dying, you'll be taken back to the Nexus and you should have the item in your inventory. So that's pretty much the steps you need to take in order to get it. Um, how do you get it on your current playthrough? Well, this is where you need to phone a friend because we're going to have to transfer items between one another. If you haven't got any friends, then I'd suggest you go onto the Demon Souls Discord and just ask someone to help you. They should help you. They are pretty good. So anyway, what we now need to do is we need to get the Blue Eye Stone so we can start summoning people, which means we need to head over to World 1-1, Gates of Boletaria, and we're going to have to kill the Fainlanx boss. Once the boss is dead, touch the Arcstone and go back to the Nexus. Speak to the Monumental and this should allow us to get the Blue Eye Stone from the Maiden in Black. Head over to World 1-1 and put your summoning sign down. Once your friend has summoned you, drop the item, give it to your friend, head back to your own world and load whichever character you want this item to be on. Once again, put your summoning sign down and have your friend re-summon you. When he drops the item, just pick it up and you'll have the helmet on your main character. And there we have it, how to get the iron helm on your main playthrough. So yeah, I really hope this video has helped you. If you're still unclear, leave me a comment below and I'll try and respond to you. If you haven't checked out my other walkthrough on how to get the red eye stone, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.